Hello everyone, my name is Chanda and today I'll be reviewing the game Spurpunk. Uh, so this is the UI that we get as we start the game. First of all we have the option to change the languages and then I don't see an exit button so we can directly press the start button. To get the lay of the game I have played around 9 to 10 levels. I'm currently on the 9th level and <coughs> The basic idea of the game is to strategically put towers uh, in such places so that all the zombies cannot reach your home. As you can see, if I start level 1, we get this grid kind of a format with a desert -y UI. And uh, uh, we can see that these squares represent the places where we can put the tower. Uh, these towers automatically start shooting pellets to kill these zombies. Initially, I had a confusion like, I, like how exactly are they shooting the pellets but then later I observed that it happens automatically. And uh, as we kill the monsters, the power-ups, that is this grey button that, is, uh, that has four, it goes up automatically and if we get hurt by any chance, for example, these zombies can also uh, affect the health of the towers. So that's uh, when our hearts go down. So I cleared this level, that's great. Uh, with ev so uh, what I really liked about this game is that it's very interactive and engaging uh, such that with every level we get new zombies or the frequency of those zombies keep on increasing and uh, with every level we also get like new features as you can see in this third level we get this uh, freeze button um, and we get this interactive UI kind of a thing a bot which uh, which has these text in place to tell us what exactly each power up is doing so th uh, this power up basically is used to uh, freeze the monsters and then we um, build these stars again uh, around it and as the zombies come we'll see that uh, okay this actually just freezes the monster but you see uh, as it freezes the power again the power of the monster again increases so that's a good thing and other than that we also have this uh, lightning button this lightning button has like special <coughs> power ups for example it has that b uh, when you play higher levels you realize that there is this uh, balloon bombing thing uh, for example when you go to this fifth level that this is the level where uh, just give me a second uh, we go to the shop and then we can buy these balloons and uh, when we go back and we play this level, we observe that we can actually uh, use this power up. And I really, what I really liked about this game was that it had like so many different types of towers also. Uh, so that's really engaging. And you can see that uh, if if, a, if an experienced person wants to play this game, they can also like increase the speed of the zombies. So that's really interesting. However, there are a few things that I did not really understand or found that that could be improved upon first of all i don't really understand what this uh, these hearts actually do what to do with this health part and the ui remains of uh, the levels that i have uh, played through from one to nine the ui remains kind of same the deserty outlook so it can be a bit tedious i would prefer to uh, for it to have been improved a little you know something much more interactive and uh, one more thing I would uh, like to improve upon is that uh, uh, for explaining the uh, characteristics of every zombie or every tower involved, we have this bot kind of a thing where the textual material comes, right? I would have preferred something like some having some kind of animation that would have made it like much more easier to explain and also like I, I kind of got bored reading all those long texts and then remembering what every zombie was doing because as we progress in the levels we experience a lot of different kinds of zombies you see something like this what's your plan Mickey so uh, world uh, denom domination and I'll be grabbing any resources I mean I found this a bit tedious it would have been better if uh, we could have gotten some kind of like animation to show all the power-ups involved so I don't know that is my personal opinion see this is like a very long chat that is going on and on so that's nice uh, if we would have had some kind of animation other than that the game is really engaging I went through level one to nine in like just uh, I in one sitting I could I uh, it's really nice I like that about the game uh, 
so yeah the game overall i really like the game but there are a few features i would have liked to uh, like to be improved upon and uh, yeah that's it thank you